Hello again, it's Priscilla Batzell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery in the backyard. I'm really sorry about that guy mowing the lawn. I got my colors pulled out. And I am planning on making some stripes. And I'm not sure how any of this is going to go. But like I said, I got my colors pulled out. And I'm going to make a swipe. And I hope I like what I've chosen because it's what I got. If I want something else, I better do it right now. Kind of miss the um, having the orange. Maybe a little bit of that will help me feel better. So I don't know how much paint I need, but my colors are next to me. And I've got my gold, and I've got my black enamel, and I've got my swipe cloth and my little container to wipe it off into. So what I'm thinking is to grab a shovel and to start from the purple. Come on, scoop up. Gosh, I hope I like this. <laughs> I think I want to go straight from the middle. I'm not liking that blue as much as I thought I was going to. So I suppose there's a chance I could change my change my color scheme if I wanted to doesn't look like I have enough colors here at all anyway. So I guess what I'm going to do is just completely use what I've got and start again. It might just be different enough to be cool. For some reason it's being difficult getting the shovel to take what I need. So my, I'm intending on swiping through some gold. But I haven't got there yet. My dog has just arrived to hunt whatever he's have a mind to hunt. Go away. No, I'm not playing rock with you. He's brought me a rock. <laughs> oh well. Sorry. Sorry, dog. Nope. He says, but you always play with me at this time of day. I'm trying to go slow so I get most of the pattern I want. I'm not hating on that. I wish I could have had enough paint to go the whole way. And I don't want it to get so mixed together that it's completely different. I wonder if I can get one more to go out. Yes, jump on it. I suppose I could just mix them in the shovel. Make no mistake, I see you there, dropping a rock at my feet. <laughs> so kicking that isn't going to do me a lot of good. So I'm going to do what I said I was going to do. And throw the rock. <laughs> Just because I have to. And I'm going to put a little bit of the blue. Some of my magenta. The green gold from Folk Art that's a color shift. The minty green that's a color shift from Folk Art. The blue that's a color shift from Folk Art. What else? I think some of this, um, this berry color. Maybe I can get two out of this. That would be good. 
It would be even better if I didn't put my bottles in my way. This might be the simplest ones that one, one I've ever done. And if I tip it up, everything will run, so I can't really do that. Kind of hoping I can cheat. Cheat that corner into place. It occurs to me I'm going to lose all of my black if I swipe down. I'm just going to fill that in with whatever dribbles are coming out of the shovel. Do I need any anywhere else? Kind of. Okay, so I have to choose what I'm going to do now. And I kind of love the idea of the uh, of the orange. Right down the center. But it's not, of course, down the center. And I think I'm going to drop some gold in there. Am I? <laughs> Maybe I'm not. Oh, come on. I have to open that up. So he knows what bothers me, and the dog is on the other side. I've got rubber mats on my studio floor, even outdoors. And he likes to stick the pebble down and then drag on it. Maybe if I pick a thinner swipe card. I will like what I get. So where's that black enamel? No idea what this is going to be like at all. But I've been thinking about it for a while. So I'm just going to use whatever's handy. Tap that gold into place first. I forget, when the canvas is dry, you need extra paint. So I'm just going to use all of what I've got. And that ought to be fine. Maybe I'll wind up tipping something. I think I'm going to be dragging the colors from the other side right down. Which might be okay, you know, it could be cool. We'll, we'll cross our fingers and toes. <laughs> nope, so. I just like keeping the black. I'm, I'm actually loving the patterns that are being created. And there's just enough paint. So that's pretty cool, and uh, it doesn't look off-center, and everything is just different enough to make it sort of cohesive. And the only thing I think I might want to do is drag down through the center of what I've got there with a little more enamel, and maybe cut a new card. So I've got a pair of scissors. And I'm going to go ahead add a dot of enamel see if I can get my dyslexia to become refunctional so going and wipe off my card Wipe off my card.
Almost went the wrong way. I had some really nice cells too. So all those colors, if I want to, I can use them to cover the edge. I'm going to have to put up with this, I think. Pretend it didn't happen, maybe. So back over here. I was wanted to see what just colors would be with the black enamel. I gotta say, I'm not really unhappy right now, especially with those cool shapes in the center. I did just get rid of some really sweet cells. I could have put gold there too, but I, I really just wanted to keep the colors. And um, I could do other stuff. I'm sure I could. And there's a little lilt to it going that way. Of course there is, yes. This is going to go on my Lolafie mat. I'm just going to let that relax down. I'm going to torch this, call it good, tell you guys. I do sell my artwork and my email address is right below the video. Should you want to get in touch with me, please include the hashtag on any of the pieces of artwork you're interested in. I also give lessons at the house in Spring Hill, Florida. And you can use that same email address. I'll give you a phone number and we'll talk, talk about it. It's still sort of a keyhole swipe. It's got some great cells. I got to experiment with some new methods. Part of me is wanting to put a gold line down in between everything. But I don't think that needs to happen. And let me see. Thank you for the thumbs up. Thank you for sharing my videos. Thank you for watching the longer. Um, underneath the video you will find the paint pouring recipe and the way I mix it. On my channel you will find playlists of 1360 videos organized by the hundred and by the genre, by the topic. And um, Pinterest, Instagram, and Twitter links are underneath the Linktree link where Amazon also is. And if you shop there at no it cost, you Princeton Art Tool Catalyst spatulas and OXO omelet turning flip and fold spatulas, awesome tools, and lots and lots of other stuff are there. So you can find my Teespring clothing underneath the video and that's got all over print leggings and all over print t-shirts. And if, uh, if you feel like shopping, if you're in the mood to shop, then Totes and, uh, Expressionist Art Studio Gallery Totes and More is a Facebook group. And it's also under the link tree. And the Shop Now button will bring you to Fine Art America and Pixels.com, also on the link tree. But what else can I tell you? There's all kinds of stuff I'm forgetting, I'm sure of it. There is a monthly drawing for anybody who's a contributor through PayPal or Patreon. You can find those icon icons on my YouTube channel header and the links under the link tree. And if you are one of those contributors helping support the studio, and thank you to everyone who has so far, um, you will see on the end screen of any video an exhibition video. And that exhibition video will include whatever that next month's... Yeah, I better be careful. <laughs> I still want to go down the edges with the gold. And I could do that so easily. <laughs> really, I could. And it would look probably pretty cool. And I've got two minutes left, and I could do that. But do I want to? I'm going to be good. I'm, I'm going to try and restrain myself. <laughs> okay. Um, on Facebook, there's an Expression to Start Studio Gallery Appreciation Group, which is for students, and I will, uh, most, most days you will find the video I posted from the night before there. Also, you will find Expression to Start Studio Gallery Fans and Collectors, where I have posted in albums the artworks that I have edited so far. Nice cells coming up um, from YouTube. So, did I forget something? I'm sure I forgot something. I always forget something. I have no idea. Oh yeah, there's 87,000 of you! Subscribe now! Yay! And should you be interested in uh, no commercials, go check out, before it's gone, Phoenix Rising Priscilla Batsell Art, because there's no commercials there. And I love you, and I love you, and I love you. And I will touch up my sides, and I think that they're just going to be black. So I could just wipe off anything that I've got that went over. 
and not worry about it. Or I could leave it as it is and probably it would be just fine. You guys take care of each other. Take care of yourselves. This is Priscilla Batsell in Spring Hill, Florida at Expressionist Art Studio Gallery. Out! I will see you anon. Check the community board for tomorrow's video on YouTube if you need to. Bye for now. See you soon. Hopefully tomorrow.